Hi guys, so don't mind the awkward angle of the camera. I have to have it flipped sideways so that the video films a long ways and large for you guys to see. But I am going to be doing a deck unboxing, a deck reveal, a package I received that I am very, very, very excited for. Um, so that would be the Elemental Tarot. I keep wanting to look over here because I want to see my face. <laughs> the Elemental Tarot. And this one actually came in today. Um, and there's like a whole little story about it, but I will tell you guys about it as I'm opening it up. Um, but I am just super, super excited to have this deck in my collection. Sorry, the whole mess of my room. <laughs> um, I'm excited to have it in the collection. It is an out of print deck. And as you guys know, out of print decks don't come easy. Um, it's like rare to get an out of, out of print deck. I mean, it's not super rare, but in the tarot community, we all know that if something goes out of print, usually you're going to be paying a kind of a, a lot of money depending on what deck it is and, um, you know, how pretty it is and how rare it is and how old it is and the condition and all of that kind of stuff. So I was able to snag this one at a bargain of a price. Um, and so let's get into it because I'm really excited. I just want to see the card. So <laughs> I am going to set my little tripod down so I'm not making you guys all dizzy. Let's see. There we go. Um, so we could see the beautiful elemental tarot. So the story behind this deck is um, I was on, I'm, I am in a couple of Facebook groups where we sell, trade, and buy tarot decks, okay? So people will post decks that they are selling. Um, or like for me, I made a post saying, I am looking for the Fantastic Menagerie. If anyone has it and wants to sell it, please contact me. So I had made that post a couple months ago. No, actually a couple weeks ago, I lied. <laughs> Maybe it was last month. And this guy reached out. And he left me a comment saying, I own a Fantastic Menagerie Tarot. If you were interested, send me a DM. So I messaged him, but there was another person who had commented on the post. I guess she saw it first. And she messaged him before me. Um, and I didn't think that that was very fair, but I mean, because it was my post and he actually directed the comment, like his, his comment to me. But I guess with the way that these groups work, it's first come, first serve. So because she was the one to contact him first, um, and he actually thought when she messaged him, he was thinking it was me. <laughs> so the whole thing was a mix-up, and he basically gave her a price and sold the deck to her. Um, and when I got into message with him, he was like kind of taken aback because he was like, wait, wait who was I just talking to? <laughs> So he felt really bad. I missed out on the Fantastic Menagerie. I mean, it's still on my wish list. It is a Baba Studios deck, um, but it wasn't meant to be, and that's why I, I have to accept that. So I basically told myself, you know what? That deck will come into my possession when it's t when it's meant to. So anyways, he felt really bad and he was like, let me look in my collection because I'm going to be selling some decks and let me let you know, I'll let you know what I have. And so he asked me, you know, what kind of art do I like? What style? Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, I had told him a couple other decks that I was looking for, which Oracle of the Radiant Sun was another one. Well, the creators of Oracle of the Radiant Sun, Caroline Smith, is also of the Elemental Tarot. So he had said, well, I don't have Oracle of the Radiant Sun, but I do have the Elemental Tarot. And so I said, okay, I'm interested. So he offered this beautiful deck to me for $60. And if you look on eBay, um, I've seen a copy for 120. I've seen a copy for 150. I believe there's one right now for 55, um, and then plus like a 25 dollars shipping because it's it's a big, it's a it's a big you know box set. Um, so you know, 60 60 dollars was very generous, and especially because it is an out of out of print deck that these sellers can definitely, if you own one, you know, you can jack the price up because they're out of print, so they're you know they're worth money, and if it's in a really good condition, it's even it's worth even more money. So, anyways, 
I was so interested. I jumped on it um, and I purchased the deck. And so here it is. <laughs> so it is the, um, it's the box set. And when you open it up, So I love these kind of sturdy box sets because you can totally just tuck them into a drawer and your deck is protected. Um, so here it is. I actually, I actually took the cards out. I haven't opened them yet, but they come in a little, there's a book, the guidebook, and then the cards. Oh, I'm so excited. So, um, really love this. Ah. <laughs> I get I always get this so excited when I get an out of print deck because any tarot reader will know how special it is to own something that you know you really can't get your hands on unless you buy it used so the guidebook black and white prints of the pictures and then it goes into there's a lot of symbolism that's the thing the thing about Caroline Smith and John Astrop I think Astrop Astrop the thing about their decks is it's highly very heavily symbolized it's symbolic so um you know if you're into the symbols and whatnot um if you're into you know simple artwork i like i, I just like this kind of artwork it's so pretty um it's i don't know <laughs> i don't know it just really appealed to me so it comes with the guidebook which is really cool because now i can you know read with it and see how the symbols correlate with the cards and then the, the cards themselves come in a tuck box, like you can see here. And they're a pretty decent size, like oracle size. Because typically a tarot size is um, smaller than this. <laughs> okay, so the card backs are a gray, a silvery gray color, okay? And as you can see, they're, they're pretty pretty nice size. Um, I love cards that are rather larger. They're easier to handle, I think, in my opinion. I like to shuffle sideways. Um, and ah, I'm just really excited. So th this is going to definitely be something that I'm going to mess around with. I don't know yet if this is going to be a deck that I will read for clients Um you know, in my video format, this might be more of a personal deck. I really feel like this is going to be more of a, um, me, like a personal deck for me where I pool and I journal with, and I'm really, I'm just really looking forward to diving into it. So I just, I love the color scheme. I love the symbolism. I love the, the artwork. It's just different. It's so different. Um, they're almost like, um, or, uh, Oracle cards when they have like the little, like this one says breath. I know that the camera is backwards, <laughs> but it says breath. Some of these are, are, um, gods. <clears throat> Here's the full card. I just, there's, it's just so different. I, I'm just so interested in the way that the deck looks, the artwork, the coloring, it's just different. Has a very like Egyptian feel to it. Um, oh, I don't know. Son of Air. That would be the Page of Swords. Daughters of the Earth. I think the Sun would be the Pages, and the Daughters would be, or maybe the Daughters would be the Pages, and then the Sons would be the the Knights. I don't know. I have to look into it, but. I don't know, isn't it pretty? And then this is gonna look so nice. Here's the mother of air, the queen of swords. Um, this is gonna look so nice in photos. That's another thing, like when I'm looking at decks that I want, I always think, how are they gonna look in, in photos? Because as you guys know, um, I like to post pictures of the cards on Instagram. Um, so, <laughs> I'm just so excited. I just can't believe that I have this. Um, I have the radiant, Oracle of the Radiant Sun coming in. It is smaller in size. Um, it's being shipped from Ecuador. So that one's gonna take a while to get here, but I'm really anxious for that one too, because as you know, it's an um, out of print deck. It's very rare. It's just, I don't know. Oh, look at this one. This is Re Virgin Receptivity. Oh, I love that one. That's probably one of, gonna be one of my favorite cards. Um, oh, look at the moon illusion. I really like how they have some of the keywords 
on the card like that. <clears throat> How it says the illusion. It, it, it really like, even though it's, it's a tarot deck, it really gives that vibe of an oracle. So I, I, I dig that. I, I can dig that. Oh my God. Look at this one. Wow. The color scheme is just beautiful. The colors themselves speak. They speak. Love it. Oh, so I don't want to bore you guys by like going card by card because I know for me, I don't like to watch the videos that are like that. Oh, but look at this death card. Transformation. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, I won't bore you guys with all of that. But what I do want to do is um, because it is a brand new deck in my collection, not brand new, but um, I'm going to go through and cleanse the cards and put them in order. That's usually what I do. So if you guys ever wonder, look at this one, Gaia. Um, if you ever wonder like what I do when I, when I get my hands on a new deck, even if it's used, especially if it's used, um, I will cleanse them. So I cleanse them, whether I spray them down, um, if I can light incense, I'll light incense and smoke them. Um, if not, um, you know, cleansing them with a crystal, but I will put them in order. And yeah. Oh, these are beautiful. I am so happy. Wow. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. How beautiful. <laughs> it's like, who's that creeping in? behind the tree right there. <laughs> oh, look at spring. I love it. So there's nudity in the deck, which doesn't bother me at all. Father of water. I love it. So um, I'm very, very, very excited. I'm very happy. The card stock is um, thin, which is what I like because it shuffles like a dream. Um, but I am totally digging this deck, so. Like I said, I don't know. We'll see how I feel reading for clients with it. This is going to be one that, oh my God, look at the devil card. <laughs> this is going to be one um, that I'm going to really do work for myself. Oh my God, look at the tower card. I just love how like the colors give you that vibe. Like it really speaks. Oh, sorry guys. I don't want to like be all distracted in the video but anyways um we'll see we'll see if it if it turns into a deck that I read for other people with but if not this is definitely going to be um one of for me just to enjoy for myself and like I said as soon as that um oracle of the radiant sun comes in I am going to film that deck because I am just excited <laughs> so yay another out of print deck in my collection um you know, it's, it's nice. I'm, I'm very, I'm very fortunate to have, be able to have that, you know, that, that opportunity. And, um, he's a really sweet guy. And so it's just like, it's just really cool. I'm really excited. I'm really happy about this. So I just wanted to share that little moment with you guys. Um, and as always, if you guys are interested in having a reading done with me, please click the link below. It'll take you to my shop. Um, I will be closing my shop for two days maybe three, depending on how I feel. Um, but I'm thinking of, I'm closing it. I'm going to close it on Wednesday after my 25% off sale ends. So between now and midnight, um, midnight going into the 22nd, um, you could get a 25% off discount by putting in the coupon code love 25. I'll put that, um, information down below. So just click the description box and read it. Um, but you can get a 25% off coupon if you want to, you know, get a reading with me or order a couple readings with me and get a discount. Um, and I will reopen the shop when I come back from my little mini vacation. Um, and have just, I, I want to clean out the services. I have a lot of different things in my shop and I really just want to clean it up. So check it out and thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a beautiful Monday. Bye loves.